Hello friends! Thanks for spending creative time with me today. I'd like to give you a tour, a flip through, of two art journals. These are fabric art journals. They're mini art journals and they're a lot of fun. They were made almost 20 years ago by me and there's a reason I pulled them out now because I'm going to be adding to one of them and I'll link any related videos, future videos of adding to it in the description of this video. So these are both called decos. Decos are, I was really involved with the male art community a couple decades ago <laughs> when you make a book. So I made these two books. The theme of this one was full of fiber. I'm Kathleen Arola Johnson of Creative Solace Studios. And this one, the theme was fabric. So that's why I thought I'd showcase both of them in this same flip through video. So I structured both of these books with the theme and then I sent them in the mail to other people to have them contribute to the pages. The full of fiber one we'll take a look at first. I added two different fabrics for the cover and then this stitching here is embroidery floss. And I just did a running stitch along there to stitch together the pages that were made. If you can take a look in here, the actual pages were made with white felt. So I folded some felt pages together. There we go. And stitched them along the binding, tied an extra cord around it with some fun fringes and fibers on the edges and then sent it off to people who hopefully were going to send it back to me and I'm thankful that these people did. This one, let's zoom in a little bit closer. This one has a fabric, really sturdy type of fabric that the image was printed on and then a machine stitched around it and kind of a little bit quilted onto it. Love pieces hanging off the edges. That just makes it all the more textural and fun. And how about this trim on the next page? There's a cigar label. I like the combination between paper and fibers in here with some nice buttons as well. The page facing it has a rubber stamped image onto some fabric, might have been muslin with some lace, and then some nice embroidery stitches in a little pattern around the edges. So fun to see how different people interpreted this theme. This page in the middle, this spread is gorgeous. This is actually an art doll that was crocheted attached in here with these exceptional fibers that were sewn in here. And I can see the name on this one. Thank you to Penny Gamble. <laughs> um, I did message her after she sent this and told her how gorgeous it was. She actually sent me a copy of the book that she got the pattern out of. This is called Creative Crochet Dolls. There's 50 designs in here and it's by, written by, designed by Noreen Crone Finsley. Check it out, all of these fabric, pat or not fabric, crochet yarn patterns. Here's the pieces that, that make the dolls. Really exceptional book. So I just wanted to point that out and give a, a shout out to Penny for this really cool page. And then look at how fun here, little embellishments stitched in, ribbon around, buttons. Nice to have some pages that go across two sides, a spread, and some pages that are just one side. Fun to see what people come up with. Last one has some really nice ribbon embroidery knotted into a bouquet of flowers. So this is the first deco called Full of Fiber. And I really love that one. Used also fiber on this one, but I made a different style of book. The covers of this one are mat board. And then the pages are window screen, window screening. I will find the center of it right about in here. 
And I used for the spine, I used the same felt that I used for the pages in the first book. Then, if you can kind of see in there, I stitched, here's the center, I cross-stitched the window screen pages onto the felt to use that as a binding and then glued it onto the mat board. So a different style of, of book there. Love the fringe on the outside, the beads. I designed some cross-stitch people who, I, I used to be really into cross-stitching and I didn't even plan these out ahead of time, just kind of drew on the cross-stitch with the embroidery floss as I was making it. I think now I used fray check around the edges so it wouldn't unravel. 20 years hasn't unraveled, but I think now I might even add a little sparkly stickles on the edges to secure it even further. So let's do a flip through of this second one with the title fabric. I did the outside and the inside covers, and then the pages were again by other artists, some of who I can kind of still see their names on there. Buttons, lace, embellishments, some more ribbon embroidery, kind of like a little tutu there, and different fabric patterns. Love the beadwork. Stickers, you can put stickers right on top of fabric as well. Look at this fun uh, pocket envelope here. Clear plastic on the outside, beads on the inside to make a little shaker. A little shaker in there with a zigzag stitch. Really fun to have interactive elements in your art journals or mini mixed media journals. Here's a dress on a little hanger. Just love all the different ways that people interpreted the theme. Take a look at this one. This has a lot of yarn in there, so it kind of gives the look of felting. And then she used the green embroidery floss and some red to accentuate a face, put the word Africa on there. Next to this one with the flowers. Then, the reason why I pulled out these books recently is I, I looked and I was like, hey, there's extra pages in here. So guess what? 20 years, almost 20 years later, I'm going to finish up some of these. What kind of ideas would you have to add in a fiber or a fabric art journal? Mixed media art journal. Leave a comment. Let me know what you would add if you were adding pages into here. And I'll link some pictures or some videos in the description of this video once I add some pages onto here. But it's fun, fun to look at these, fun to feel those textures, fun to get ideas from other artists, and nice to be a part of the male art swapping community. So I thought I would share these with you today. Thanks for being a part of this creative venture and flip through and description of these fun art decos. Mm -hmm.